Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch the Movie. I'm Mike. I'm Jay. His name's Jay. Yeah. And Why do I say it like that? I'm know. Jay. It's Christmas time and it feels good. Christmas our lights Eve. are alive inside of our bodies and it feels right and it feels good in the summertime. It's the winter. Uh, whatever. But the point is, is that we have uh, some lovely ladies. Uh, Listen to Lindsay is a YouTube channel that you guys should all go and subscribe to. Sexual. She does, you know, stuff that, you know, guys that like our channel might Sexual. not be that into. Uh, makeup Make tutorials well, and stuff like, like that. that but she also does Wonder Woman stuff, all sorts of cool stuff. So check out her channel, subscribe to it below. I've become friends with her. She's an awesome person. Uh, online friends, you know. I get We're friends you online. You met a cool girl online. <laughs> <laughs> but she's awesome, and uh, she loves horror movies, and she's really... What more could you ask for? <laughs> <laughs> but she's awesome, she's hilarious, she loves horror movies, and I I went to her and I asked her, hey, would you guys like to put up our Friends of Wham video for us for Christmas, doing a uh, Christmas horror movie? So they're going to review, her and her friend are going to review Black Christmas, and um, we hope you guys are... And it's, not, it's not a Medea movie. <laughs> 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 I was just saying, I see what you oh, I know. I it's understood not, that reference. I like it. But yeah, they're going to review Black Christmas for us, add a little bit of holiday spirit. Someone prettier to look at than our ugly mugs for you for once in a while. So, guys, I don't like the guy from Devil's I, I can't even stop Devil's Advocate. You can't win them all the time, Kevin. <laughs> Devil's Advocate? Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, go comment. Love, what the fuck am Love I? peace, and chicken, chicken grease. grease. Subscribe to her channel below. I'll put the link in. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Right and uh, be right kind, there. gentle, and loving. Bang, and bang, uh, bang. treat them with all the sensual uh, touch and, and, and heart and love that you treat us with. So without further That's ado, bad. <laughs> here, here are some more friends of Wham. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Lindsay and this is Danielle. Um, I was approached by Mike from We Watch a Movie to do some movie reviews for their channel. Um, I had my, a channel myself. Uh, Danny has been one of my best friends for like over 25 years, something like that. Yeah, really long time. So I decided to bring her in on this because we both love horror movies and I decided that a good idea for horror movie reviews would be Christmas horror movies because tis the season. And for our first movies we are going to be comparing the original 1974 Black Christmas to the 2006 version. We're really just going to go over some of like the basics for each. We're going to give them rating and then we'll go into like spoilers and all that kind of stuff. So pretty much the basic idea between both movies um, is a bunch of sorority girls at a sorority house that get like the creepiest phone calls ever. Yeah. Um. <laughs> That's what you got. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like the I, I split personalities. Split personalities. Lots of different like voices. It sounds like numerous people are talking. And I mean, well, the first one is actually Canadian, so you can you can see a lot of. Uh, like Canadian influence with the way that it's filmed and different angles that they use and that sort of thing. But uh, the acting in that one isn't the best. Like there's two that are pretty good. In the first one? Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, um, who do they have names? Uh, well, there's Margot Kidder, which most people know from the Superman movies. She's the drunk one. Yeah, she's the drunk one. She was a riot. Yeah, she was fine. Yeah. Um, and the English... Yeah, now why can't I remember her name? Pita! <laughs> yeah, Olivia Hussey. I was fucking right. Alright, so Olivia Hussey, um, she played Juliet. She won all kinds of awards and stuff like that for like when she was really, really young. And then she was actually uh, the writer's girlfriend from It, which is what I mostly knew her from when I originally watched this movie. I was like 19. And I was like, oh, so that's just how she talks all the time. <laughs> It's, it's actually, it's kind of painful to watch the, yeah. She, she talked loudly at the beginning. She, <laughs> Hello? She <talked> to you. <laughs> the first one, essentially, girls just start kind of going missing, and they keep getting phone calls, and, yeah. It has a slower build-up, the anticipation uh, of it. There's him a crawling little... into the attic, and you don't know he's there. Yeah, it's really, really, really slow, and, um... They, they do a lot of like secretive stuff, like they don't expose things right away. Um, there's some like red herring kind of stuff. They try to make you think who it is and all of that. Yeah. Uh, what would your overall rating? My rating for the, the original? Like on like a scale one to five because Christmas horror movies don't have enough depth to go up to like ten. <laughs> I would give the original probably three and a half 
gold-plated horrors <laughs> out of five. <laughs> what, what, why did they lose the one and a half? Probably just, I don't know, it was a bit slower and... Yeah, the pacing was When you off. compare it to what you're used to in horror movies today, it's all go, go, go. Bam, 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 bam. Which yeah. is also kind of nice about older horror movies at yeah, the same time. there's a lot more suspense and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, obviously the acting's not the same and... Yeah. It's a little different. Kind well, and there, there's a lot of Canadian actors in that one too, so... Yeah, we, yeah. we only have ourselves to blame. It immediately kind of... <laughs> Knocks it down a few times. Felt a little guilty. Unfortunately, <laughs> I would give it. I say probably four fellatio exchanges <laughs> out of five. Um, out of context, that's going to sound very, very awkward and weird and inappropriate. But trust me, if you've seen the movie, you understand. But same reasons. Like it's really, really good. I have to watch it every single Christmas season when I'm decorating my house. But the pacing is pretty slow. Like there, there's a lot of parts that they could have cut out and it would have been the exact same movie. Like they weren't really necessary to the plot. Mm. Um, there's a lot of like verbal abuse towards the cat too. Oh yeah, that poor, what's his name? <laughs> Claude. Yeah. Claudekins. That poor cat. Like they didn't really like him much there. They were always concerned about where he was. Yeah. Well, for the new one, they totally cut out the cat completely. Yeah. So there was no cat, which is nice. The Humane Society got their hand in <laughs> and put a nix on that. Can we say that the cat lives in the first one? Yeah, sure. That's not a big spoiler. No. Which, yeah, made me a little happy. I think, I think the cat makes it. Never, we never really... Yeah, he, he never showed, <laughs> he him, he never showed him dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they never showed him dead, so that's my biggest fear when I watch horror movies, is that the animal will die. Yeah, we'll, 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 we turn off movies. Like, Pet Cemetery was a rough time for both yeah. of us. <laughs> okay, so for the remake, um, it's the same premise, but different plot. So, same thing, like, there's 40 girls in a house, but now they have all of this backstory to uh, the, the the killer, um, this boy Billy, and all of that kind of stuff. Which was there's... the same names as the, the original from the plot. Yeah, they, they, they have the same names in the first one, but there's there's no real like backstory to it. Mm. And yeah, the, there, there's a lot of similarities, like the, they try to do the red herring thing again, but um, for, for the most part, like there's, it's dark, yeah. like super dark. Like there's some inappropriateness that we'll also get into mm. that I don't think was necessary. But it's it's pretty fast paced and they, they bring back a lot of swearing, drinking, and uh, actually the first one didn't have any nudity, did it? First one didn't have any nudity. No, this which one, is surprising they, for a seventies horror movie. Yeah, this one they they throw in a little little bit of side boob. Yeah, and then the back top of the butt. Yeah. yeah. So your overall ratings for acting and plot and all that kind of stuff. Um, for the second, I'm only giving it a two. Oh! Ripped out eyeballs out of five. <laughs> oh, that is hard. It Why? is. Um, the acting was not good. What, like, well, like, Michelle Trackenberg or whatever, she was all right. Yeah. And, uh... Fake Ruby isn't, isn't too bad. Fake Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Katie Cassidy, for anybody that doesn't watch Supernatural. I just, um... It was too much going on, I found. Yeah, like, they, they it was, a lot. It was really neat kind of seeing like them trying to make a backstory, trying to explain yeah. from the original like who Billy and Agnes mm -hmm. were because you never yeah. know. But I feel like it was trying too hard to come up with a backstory. Yeah, yeah. And that it almost, got, it it almost got a little comical. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which sad. again, I mean, it's a Christmas horror movie. It's yeah. not to be taken too seriously. Yeah. It always ends up comical in some way. Um, I, I'm i actually going to go with a three uh, yellow babies out of five. I, I really, really like it. Same thing. I watch it every single year, but like you said, like it's like they tried to cram so much in there that it got a little complicated and like I, there were still some points where you weren't sure what was going on and yeah. But like the, I liked the, the way that it looked more mm -hmm. than the first one. Like it was... Yeah. It was really, really dark, and it just felt more like a horror movie when you, like, as soon as you started watching it. Yeah, like last night I said when we started watching it, I thought we were actually watching, like, a Christmas movie. Yeah, for the original one, yeah. yeah. Like, it actually came off as you are watching a Christmas movie, which is kind of creepy, and then they just, yeah, switch that around. Okay, so those are our ratings, and now we're just going to get straight into, like, spoiler stuff and actually comparing them, kills, and that sort of thing. So if you guys haven't seen these movies, then I just recommend turning the video off right now because it's we're gonna get right down to the nitty-gritty the first one like you never see the killer 
No, they never actually show him. Like you see, like the top of his head, and they you see his eye, which again. They, they brought the eye thing, like, for, like, the first one, and then they, like, ran with oh, it. Oh, yeah, even the screensaver in the second. Oh, the yeah. the eyeball with the wings. Yeah, the eyeball floating with the wings, and, like, eyeballs being gouged out, ripped out, eaten. The like, doll. Yeah, like, so many eye references. It, yeah. Like, it got, like, a little sickening. Like, they went with it a little bit too much. I, I wasn't a fan of that. Yeah, like, I feel like they were taking it really far, trying to relate it to something, but I wasn't sure what it was being related to. Yeah, like, why? Why yeah. did they have to do that? Like, if they had just done the reference, like, with the eyeball underneath the bathroom floor when the girl's going to, to uh, have a shower, that kind of reference, throwback to the original, mm -hmm. would be perfect. But they like they took it and they just like beat you over the head with it. Yeah. It was entirely too much, I thought. But <laughs> we can talk about the the boyfriend red herring thing. They they tried to do that again with the remake. The original they try to make you think that it's Olivia Hussey's boyfriend because he goes kind of kind of crazy after she tells him that she's gonna be having an abortion of their baby. Yeah, he's a, but he's a little possessive, a little yeah, he's a little, a little crazy. crazy. But I mean, he let him bang you. Like he, you had to like him a little bit. <laughs> Otherwise, she really was a hussy. <laughs> I went there. <laughs> Granted, she did tell him like right before this huge recital, so yeah, the guy's gonna tweak out a little bit, but yeah, she ends up killing him, and yeah. you think that it's over and that he was the killer, and then it shows like the essentially the killer up in the attic again. So I really, really like that. Like I love that kind of ending. The killer's never caught. You don't really know who this person is. Yeah, There's why? no backstory. Yeah, why you're doing this? It, so I love that about the original. Yeah. I think that's what makes the original so good, and they. They totally stole that from the second one. Within like the first ten minutes, you're introduced to Billy at the like a sane asylum or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, they kind of jump right into his backstory. Oh yeah, and the the backstory. What did you think about the backstory? It was awkward and uncomfortable. It was. <laughs> it was a little weird. Um... Well, I mean, like if your if your new husband is, I mean passing out during sex, the only reasonable <laughs> thing to do is to go upstairs and have sex with your addict son. Yeah. <laughs> your yellow, yellow addict son. It was inappropriate. I don't think that they needed to put that in there. Like, what did that really bring to the plot? Like, it could have just been, like, a, a sibling that he became obsessed with or something. It didn't have to be his, like, daughter-sister. Yeah, that, that got weird. Because, like, they really drill into you that she hates him. The, mom, yeah. the mother hates Billy. And then she's like, well, most women, like, I hate you, but I'll still sleep with you. Yeah. <laughs> so, when then she gets the daughter from her son, yeah. which she loves. Oh, yeah. Well, because she hated him because he was a yellow baby. Yeah, and reminded which, him of his father. Like, a liver he seemed, disease? like a decent guy. Yeah. Well, and, like, the, the liver thing, I don't really, like, I've, I've heard about some liver issues, but, like, he, like, glue yellow. Yeah. Like, he was, like, Marvel action hero yellow. It was... Yeah, I think it was just to add to his character, And maybe. why did they need it? Why did they need him to have, like, super jaundice? I don't understand. <laughs> I, I don't know. They didn't need that in the first one. I don't think they needed it in the second yeah. one, either. It could have just... Maybe it was to, like, differentiate between the two of them when they were in the same room, because Agnes was... I think it was a dude that played it. Yeah, it right? had to be. Um, I was an ugly, ugly girl. She grew up to look like his grandfather. <laughs> yes. I actually thought that when they showed Agnes, I thought it was Billy. I think that they were trying to do that too. And then his hair like, had just gotten long. Because they, they don't really talk about Agnes too much. So you're like, oh, well, like Agnes is just off and gone. And that's why he's trying to replace his sister and all of this. Like, nope, nope, she's there too. And the other thing, that, like, they kind of lead you to think that um, the weird girl might be her. Eve. But yeah. she's only in it for to give the girl the unicorn, referencing the first one. Yeah. And then she's gone again. Awesome. And I don't think they even showed her getting killed. She was just all of a sudden Eve, in the yeah. Tower. Yeah, no, they, they went out to the car, and they're like, oh, Eve's car's still here. And they open the car, and her oh. head goes, bloop, bloop, bloop. Yeah, see, I got lost. I thought that was the other girl. No, that was Eve. That was Eve. So, uh... But they, they, they try to make you think, like, after showing, like, the flashback to his little sister, that it, it shows her still standing there like a total creep. <laughs> yeah, and giving presents in the newspaper. Yeah, and then she had the whole, like, shrine, too, in her bedroom. Yeah. So, I, th I think they, they tried to give you too many red herrings. They, they tried to make you think it was too many things, but they've already handed you Billy at the very, very beginning, so yeah. that was kind of weird and confusing. But then, because Billy's still in the asylum, 
when the first murder happens. I, I still think the first one could have moved a little bit faster and the second one could have moved a little bit slower. Yeah. The simplicity of the first one's what I like about it. Oh yeah, and like just like the audio and stuff like that, like it's it's creepy and there's the angles the and yeah. him climbing the Oh, the trellis and it's yeah. I like when it does that actually. Because it's like he's climbing it and he stops and it just the camera just does like this angle up and it's almost like, oh fuck. <laughs> it's still so far to go. There was so much going on in the second one, like you were saying, like it, it was just non-stop. Yeah. They, they did not slow down but it is still a good movie and for a Christmas horror movie I think that those two like if you're gonna watch any you have to watch those two yeah those are two of my absolute favorites and I liked about the first one too um, was it Claire that was up in the first one yeah up in the attic that they never find her oh yeah she's still there at the end yeah. they you can just see her face in the window sooner or later they're gonna know yeah and but the thing about the first one that kind of I found strange was that after all the murders and they f figure out what's going on, they just lay her down in her bed, still in the house, and they're like, "Yeah, <laughs> just let her sleep." It Dad off. passes out. We need to get him to a hospital. She's fine. <laughs> I feel like you'd want to remove her from the murder house. I would think so, especially like, and then it pans out and it shows like the room next to her, and there's like Margot Kidder blood spots all over the mattress and stuff. Like they cleaned up the body. Yeah. But let's leave the really icky, gross mattress. We'll split that later. Yeah. <laughs> all all in all. Which one would you like more? I'd say the original. Yeah? Yeah, it, like it creeped me out more. Yeah. The other one was better for a laugh. Yeah. It's much better, like, have, like, a drink, sit down with your friends and watch that one. Yeah. Where the first one, you can, quite literally, you can watch it by yourself and be creeped out. Yeah. Like, if your phone rings afterwards, I wouldn't pick it up. And with, like, there's no caller ID, so, like, you don't yes. know where it's coming from. Like, they, they kind of use that well in the second one, like, saying, like, it's coming from Megan's phone and that yeah. sort of thing. But... I, I kind of like the first one, like that it's coming from the house mother's room. So yeah. like it's coming from inside the house, like sort of thing, right? Yeah. Like it, it's, this, it's essentially a remake, but it's kind of like a reimagining. You can never make people happy with like remakes and stuff like that anyways. Like people will just get pissed. Like you can name it something completely different and everybody will be saying, well, this is just a rip off of this movie. And if you name it the same thing and you change the plot whatsoever, people will get angry. If you make the same movie with the same name and the exact same plot, like follow up word for word, they'll be like, well, what's the point? You can never make people fucking no. happy ever. So I, I like how they did it, but they, they could have slowed it down just a little bit more. Yeah, and less eyeballs. Less eyeballs and squishing. and the Or explain and... the eyeballs as to why they were such a fascination. Yeah, that would have been neat. I feel like there, but then there'd be one more thing that we would have had to. Yeah, I don't know why he popped that thing out. Like, as soon as he had it, his sister, he just like. Yeah, because it was his sister who lost the eye the first. Yeah. He took her eye out. I'm yeah. Assuming. Yeah, he took it out. Yeah. His sister, daughter. And that's kind of where it started. It's like the most fucked up. It's not even a family tree. It's a family wreath. Yeah. <laughs> Which is suiting. So this is actually, this is Danny's like first time in front of like a video camera. Yeah, I love being on film. <laughs> yeah. I um, promise that you don't have to watch it. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> but you'll do it for me. I will. Yeah. That's pretty much it for the first two. Um, watchable. Definitely good to have on your Christmas horror movie watching list. Yep. Um, but yeah, drink. Drink for the second one. Yeah, definitely for the second drink one. Drink for the first one, too. Mm -hmm. I did. I'm glad I finally saw it. Yeah, I'm happy you did, too. 30 years, I finally did it. <laughs> Done it? You did it. <laughs> Hope you guys liked this if you did let us know down below um any kind of feedback for mike i'm sure would be good for him because i'm not even sure if you guys are going to want to see our faces rather than theirs because that's why you guys subscribed you guys love mike and jay but we do have a lot of the same opinions and likes in movies and that sort of thing hope to see you guys next time merry christmas um yeah they usually say something funny at the end so we know something clever i don't know <laughs> shit no, none of them liked each other. Not really, no. And they really picked on the one girl for being an only child. Yeah, like, which I thought was a little unfair. <laughs> Your parents stopped after you. <laughs> so I mean, that, there is the underlying message to the new one. Incest is bad. Yeah. Don't sleep with your son. <laughs> we watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie.